Hi guys, let's talk about book spines. A little while ago, Rincy from Rincy Reads made an awesome video about beautiful book spines, and I thought that I would also make a video to give some love to the books in my collection that have awesome spines. I've been talking about this book for the last, I don't know how many videos, so let's just get it out of the way. Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore. Um, anything yellow on this book, on this jacket, glows in the dark. So when I finally take this book off my nightstand and put it on my bookshelf, it will be the one book in my bookshelf that glows in the dark. Also, I really love the shade of yellow. It's just pretty. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. This is one of my favorite colors, favorite shade of blue, and it looks like it was written in chalk, which is really nice. And I can just always spot this right away on my bookshelf. It's the only book on my bookshelf that is this beautiful color. The Geography of Bliss by Eric Weiner kind of matches the cover. It's just, it's very simple, but I really like the typography. I like how Bliss is a different font. And I love that cute little paper airplane that goes there. The Areas of My Expertise by John Hodgman. I really like this whole dust jacket. It's just filled with random little snippets from the book and it kind of bleeds into the spine and I like the blue and the orange together. Let the Great World Spin by Colin McCann. The stories revolve around um, the guy, oh, I forgot his name, the guy who walked a tightrope between the twin towers. And there's the guy walking on the tightrope and it goes around the spine to the back. Just looking at this, you don't know what that line is, but if you know what the cover looks like, kind of cool, kind of brilliant. I also like that the words go down instead of across the book. And you see a little bit of the city down there. The Principles of Uncertainty by Myra Coleman. Myra Coleman is an artist. This book is filled with beautiful illustrations. This spine, it looks very simple, it's just white, it's a penguin book, but the spine is actually one of her illustrations, and it's a walking stick, you know, those insects that look like sticks? And if you look closely enough, you can see, like, the head of the insect and the antenna, and those little things are the wings. That's really cool. Londoners by Craig Taylor. It's a really nice cover. And I think the spine is super nice as well. I like how simple it is, and I like the lines, I like the color. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I got this book at a library sale, and I'm sure this had a dust jacket at some point in its existence, but it didn't come with a dust jacket when I bought it, so it's just this nice teal color. I really, really, really love this color. And I really like how the words once again go down. Funny thing, so the top of the pages are this color, but the sides and the bottom aren't, so I'm pretty sure that someone who owned this book before just found a marker and colored it in. I really like this paperback collection of Kurt Vonnegut's books. This isn't all of them by any means, these are just the ones that I have, but they look really nice together. Um, it's the same font, they're just different colors. This is by published by Delta? Delta? I've never heard of that. I also like um, Harcourt's paperback um, collection of Italo Calvino. He has a lot of books, and each of them have different colors, like this thing. Uh, the ones that I have happen to be both purple, just different shades of purple, but there's like orange and brown and greens and they would just look really nice all together on a shelf and I eventually want to get those other, bo other books because I'm a huge fan of Italo Calvino. He is awesome. Super, super great writing. It's like reading poetry except you're reading prose. The House of Paper by Carlos Dominguez. It's a simple cover. It's a th very thin, very short, really good book. It's a wraparound image, so I really like this whole thing. I also have these two books by a Filipino author, Jose Rizal, who also happens to be the national hero of the Philippines. The first one is Noli Matangere, and the second is El Filibusterismo. If you know anything about Philippine history, then you probably know who Jose Rizal is, 
and if you went to high school in the Philippines then you have definitely read these two books. I did not go to high school in the Philippines. I left the Philippines when I was 13. But I didn't want to miss out on these novels, so I ended up, when I went to the Philippines, buying these two copies. Um, these are the English translation of the original text, and I really like how they look. This is what the covers look like, and I think the spines are really nice. I like the orange, and I like the typography. These books hold a very special place in my heart because they are pivotal to Philippine history and literature and culture. Just everything. Everything. And that's about it for my favorite book spines. Uh, let me know what you thought of those spines, if you like them too. Thank you for watching!